welcome to the course of fundamentals of iot in short fiot in today's class we are going to learn about types of big data analytics okay so there are several types of analytics we are just going to see what is the analytic as well as the points related to it okay so from the past few classes throughout the data handling and analytic classes i have been uh, introducing you the document or the points right okay so that data will be or the all matter present in that particular pdf will be okay helpful for writing the notes and preparing for the exams but i will be mainly concentrating on just explaining the main points right now also oh, we are going to see what are the analytics and what are the points involved in the analytics okay so coming to the types of big data analytics first one is prescriptive analytics okay so under the prescriptive analytics we have forward looking focused on optimal decisions for future situation simple rules to complex models that are applied on an automated or programmatic basis discrete prediction of individual data set members based on similarities and differences optimization and decision rule for the future events okay and the second analytics is diagnostic analytics okay so uh, this particular technique okay uh, is trying to determine what happened actually so they are going to diagnose that particular data with respect to the uh, using several tools and they are also going to uh, analysis or analyze that particular uh key points so the key points of the diagnostic analytics is back backward looking focused on casual relationship and sequences relative ranking of dimensions or the variable based on uh inferred explanatory power okay and the next one is target or independent variable with independent variables and dimensions so they include both uh frequentist as well as base bayesian casual interference analysis next analytics is descriptive analytics okay so it has backward looking focused on descriptions and comparisons pattern detection and descriptions okay mec that is mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive categorization and the last one is segmentation okay so the segmentation will be based on the similarities as well as differences coming to the predictive anal analytics so the prediction is done over here based on the several uh, uh, patterns data patterns so forward looking focused on non discrete predictions of future states relationship as well as patterns description of prediction uh like a probability distribution or the likelihoods uh model application and non discrete forecasting also is considered and the next analytics is outcome analytics okay so in the outcome analytics we have backward looking real time and forward looking as well focused on consumption patterns and associated business outcomes description of usage of threshold model applications all these analytics okay are helpful in the data uh, analysis as well as the data processing okay if you take the example of big data analysis as i have already given the example of starbucks in the previous videos okay suppose a starbucks is a brand okay it's a launching a new coffee product okay so all the pe people who tasted this particular coffee product will be giving a feedback and the feedback can be uh, in the blogs twitters or any uh, coffee forums okay so as soon as the people give the feedback in this particular starbuck new coffee taste okay the starbuck needs to receive that particular uh, feedback on time okay suppose there is a lot of negative feedback based on the cost so as soon as they receive that particular negative feedback they need to reduce the cost of the coffee says that their sales will be good enough okay so all this data click logs or each and every data will be stored with respect to big data analytics so these kind of big data analytics 
will be helpful in these kind of applications. Thank you.